All right, I'm finishing up my, my first flight with the 3DR Solo with the U-Blox M8N attached. You can barely see it, black's back out there. You can see it's pretty much finished its route. It's got 19 satellites. Um, last I checked in the other app, it had an H-Dop of 0.4 to 0.6, so that's pretty impressive. You can see it coming back now. Right now we're at 54% battery, still have 19 satellites, altitude, 40 meters or 131 feet. Have a little bit of trouble focusing. There it is. Coming on in. Once it lands, let's see, it's getting pretty close to where it took off from. It's right over here, across the field a little ways. That's the first flight first uh, image capturing flight with the new GPS attached. Um, hopefully you get a little bit better image resolution, or uh, not image resolution, but uh, once we make the, the mosaic, the ortho image, a little bit resolution there, a little bit better resolution there. There it is coming in, and it'll just plunk itself down, and you can see Barely, the GPS antenna sticking off the top there, and it's not super well attached yet. All right, so let's see, mission completed. Yeah, you can see the GPS unit. It's just a um, a U Blox M8N unit off of um, Amazon. I think it was. 25 or 30 dollars and it came with this little riser kit and it's not properly attached see the two zip ties and then there's a little white disc of double-sided foam tape um, but I don't have any issues it's real lightweight so it doesn't really go anywhere and you can unscrew this collar and have it fold back and that's nice um, I don't have the shroud on there I wasn't sure if I wanted to permanently affix this to the shroud of screws um, that little guy that little connector is for the I2C uh, compass, which uh, this thing has an onboard compass in one of the legs, so I don't need to use it. I can just leave it flat. But um, this with the little arrow, you know, which doesn't matter. I do like it's got the blue sheet, the blue light to let you know it's got a lock. Let's see, y'all. Switch us back over to the solo app. H-Dop is here just sitting on the ground and get away from it a little bit. Uh, of course, vehicle not detected. Uh, solo app on Android kind of sucks. See it? Anything? Nothing. Yet. The Pix 4D app here's just fine. <laughs> Go figure. So, anyway, good deal. This uh, GPS is kind of sketchy. What I might do doesn't need to be on that riser. I like it on the riser because it gets a good, a really good sky view. But what I may do is just put the shroud back on here and then I've got some extra double-sided tape for the bottom and I may just plop it right down there. The clearance on the blades might be a little close right in there, but this disc is, I mean, it's real thin. I'm not too worried about it. I don't want to block the battery release button, but Right now, I think that would be right. This is fine, you know, until until I'm proved otherwise by a crash. And see, even there, it's a little wiggly, but I don't think this vibrates too much. And it doesn't have any trouble flying, it's pretty windy out here, and no issues, but yeah, good deal.